Welcome to Fishing with Gary. We're at Roosevelt Lake. It's the end of May, almost the first of June. We've got a beautiful day out, as you can see. We're the only ones here. There's nobody on the lake. So we thought we'd come up and have a fun day fishing. One of the things people ask me the most is, do you catch any fish on an Alabama rig? And of course, the conditions is, yeah, I do catch them on there, but far and few in between. I don't throw it enough to do it. So today we're gonna to come out, and we're gonna throw this and see what we can catch. All I'm using is skinny dippers. I got two different colors on here. These are full skinny dippers. They're not the little tiny ones. So got the clear one with the green, green and blue fleck. I think it's a violet. And then this is this the shad colored one. So basically it's real easy, you know. Uh, I just throw it out and reel it in. You know, that's how I, I catch them. A lot of guys let them sink, you know. You stay on the trolling motor and uh, they've got quarter ounce weights on them so they're gonna sink fast enough. Just I just do a slow retrieve like this and if you can get on a good breezy bank like we have, it can be good. I use a seven and a half foot Daiwa rod and a Johnny Morris uh, full size reel. I'm using 20 pound test line, Bass Pro XPS, fluorocarbon. You know, one of the things that this is simulating is uh, that it's a school of bass. On the video, you're gonna see what this looks like coming through the I mean, it's got a lot of sparkles. Mine has uh, gold and silver blades. And the two bottom ones are always your, your ones with your hooks on there. Now in Arizona, you're only allowed, you're only allowed two baits, two hooks on this. A lot of states allow you five. So I've had, I've tried about every one of these A-rigs that I could find, you know, different ones. And you, when the time's right, you can catch fish on all of them. I mean, even those little 9.99 ones you, you buy at the Bass Pro Shop work at times. When the bite's tough, what do you use, you know? What kind of retrieve do you use? Do you burn it in? You know, this is heavy. But you can see the flash that this thing has. I mean, we're fishing over here by the dam and the road's right above me up here. And we got a little bit of breeze kicking up. So that's good. We want that ripple on the water. So we'll just, I don't know if we'll catch any fish or not, but we're gonna go down this bank and we're gonna throw this thing. I've, to be honest, I've never caught any really, really big ones. I've caught some threes, three and a half pounders, maybe a four, but I've never caught more than like a four pounder. So caught a lot of pound and a half, two, two and a half, threes. So we'll just throw this for a while and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, hey, we're up here trying different stuff anyway. This is something that you put on if you want to learn how to use it. You put it on and you just use it for a while. I just throw it, I'm just throwing it, it's really a heavy rig, I got a lot of weight on there. So I'm throwing it maybe 10 feet off the bank. You know, it's, it's like 11, 12 o'clock right now. So those fish are down, you know, pretty deep right now. But as you can see, the water is pretty clear. Yeah, I can see 10 feet deep and, and see the bottom. So we'll just kind of keep chunking. Chunking and winding, you know, see what we can get a hold of. Here comes the wind, so that's a good thing. Get the breeze going. Oh, God, I either got a tree or a fish out there. Oh, he's coming up. I do have a fish. Oh, man, look at that. That's a nice fish. Going down. I'm not gonna use the net or nothing on this fish because it'll get all tangled up with all those little things. Come on, baby. That's a nice fish. This is all, 
about the kind of fish that I catch. That's a fat fish, heavy fish. That's probably a good two and a half pounder. So I got two different types of baits on there. And I'll show you the one I got. So that's a nice one. Let's let him go. Ready, David? There he goes. So the two I got on, he hit on the sexy shad one, which is this one. So I try to always find out which one it was. There we go. So basically I got like a quarter ounce head on the top of this. And then I got quarter ounce on the heads on the baits. So maybe this wind is helping us today, you know? That's a good thing. So I'm just heaving that thing out there and just winding it in. Now I let that go down about, that thing went down about probably 15, 20 feet. So, and I'm in 26, 27 feet of water. So we're just gonna clu cruise along this bank and just kinda, if you're throwing shallow like that, you better hold your rod up high because these things are gonna go down fast and uh, get stuck real quick. So once I, once I start getting out a little bit further, I'm letting it go down. Let it go down a ways and see if we can get hit. It helps to, I can tell you one thing guys, it helps to have a, a longer rod. Like this is, this is just seven, seven six, I think, pretty sure. And the reel is a heavy duty Johnny Morris reel. It's got a big spool, holds a lot of line. I know they say to use braid on here, but I always, a lot of times that braid will stick in the spool when you get stuck or something, and then it's hard to cast again. So I'm just gonna. Boy, there's some nice points here. Big old boulders in the lake right here. This is what you want. You want a lot of structure. I like the structure for everything. Crankbaiting, topwater, you know, throwing worms, Texas rig, drop shot. You get stuck a little bit more, but boy. Whew, that wind feels good. Let's just kind of keep chunking this thing. Man, there he is. All right. Oh, get out of that tree. Oh man, he's in the tree. Oh, he came out. Maybe I ought to wind him in a little faster. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice fish. Oh, this is better than the last one. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff from the tree on there. Man, lucky I didn't. Look at that, all that crap that was in that tree. That's a nice fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish out here in this clear water. This is really neat. Really neat to catch these. Oh, he ate the same, he ate the same one that he ate before. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. Woo! That's a good one. Man, look at that. That's a nice fish. That's gotta be close to three. That's a big fish. Nice. Alrighty, let's let him go. He deserves it to be set free. There he goes. Man, I think this breeze is really helping this bait. The only bad thing about this thing, sometimes this thing gets tangled. Yeah, like in the tree just a second ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, David says just like, just like it was when the tree. I'm lucky I didn't lose it. All right. All right, here we go. 
I think these rocks are helping this. I've never thrown an Alabama rig over here on this big old rock before, but with the wind blowing, putting a ripple on the water, I imagine it's turning on the fish. I mean, it's, I didn't expect to catch any fish. Today it's, it's 12 o'clock, you know, in the afternoon. It'd be pretty hot out here if, if, uh, if uh, the wind wasn't blowing. So we're just gonna kind of tool around here and see if we can, maybe, uh, maybe this thing is coming up over the bottom of trees or the trees are on the bottom and when they comes over the top, they're coming out and hitting it. Be like you're throwing a spinnerbait or crankbait or something like that, except it's a lot, a lot heavier. This is a real heavy one, guys. I, it's hard to throw. I mean, can you imagine throwing this in a tournament all day long? I know guys that do it. You know, some of the stuff I look for is the same stuff I throw a rubber worm on or a drop shot on or stuff. I'm actually looking for things to throw on. You know, like, like this point up here. Look at that thing there. So what I want to do is take this and throw it out over the point and come up over the top of it. I mean, this just looks perfect for a fish to be, be on. Especially if you're going up over the point. This is like a fish magnet here. So I'm just gonna dissect this, this point, throw up shallow. And then as I bring it in, I'm just gonna wind just kind of medium and I'm gonna let this go right off the rocks. There's a bunch of big old boulders down there. And let that thing just come right on down. Oh, there's a tick. Boy, I tell you, they tick this thing just like they do a Texas rig. Sometimes you can't tell if it's the tree or a rock, but you can feel it go thump. I think I got one on there. Oh, I do. He's not, not as big, but once they're on this thing, there's so many, so many um, little spinners on this thing. Man, look how dark he is. A darky. I could just lift this one in. Oh boy, he's a fat one. Pretty. Nice, oh boy. He got a big old sore on the side here, look at that. Man, well, let him go. He deserved to, deserves to leave. Go back out there, baby. Man, he goes down fast, doesn't he? Whew. Well, I think that's enough. We, uh, we're gonna go in. We've had a full day of filming and uh, catching fish out here. So once again, I just want to thank you guys for, for uh, watching the videos. Dave and I appreciate it. And uh, that's it, Alabama rig. Look at, I got two spinners per wire. Some guys don't like spinners at all. And I'm, uh, I'm doing like most of you do, I'm just experimenting, you know, and finding out what, what would be good and what's not good. So again, what a beautiful day we had out here at Roosevelt Lake. This is a, a uh, Wednesday, there's nobody out here. You know, this is the day after the holiday, Memorial. So it's been kind of nice. So good thing we have a, a nice breeze so we can just go on in. Thanks guys for watching. <laughs>